Hey, this is Scott coming to you from WeedersDigest.com, your lake and pond experts. Today, I want to give you a brief step-by-step -step on how to go about changing the prop on your aqua thruster when that time comes. So to do the job correctly, you need the right tools for the trade. And in front of me here, I have an Allen wrench. Next, I have a towel. You need a towel, maybe a glove or a rag of your choosing, something to essentially grab that prop when loosening it and when tightening it. The prop is sharp, it's made of engineered plastic, and you really want to make sure that you protect yourself when doing this job. So let's take a look at the prop that we have here for our three-quarter thruster. This is a two-bladed prop, and it's a specific prop made and engineered for the three-quarter machine. This prop has a specific pitch or bend on the blades, and it is a two-bladed prop. People often ask us, why do you use engineered plastic and not another material? And ultimately, here's why. If for some reason, something got lodged on the inside of this machine while it's in use, we would much rather have our customers replace a prop than have some type of damage actually happen internally to the machine which obviously slows you down and, of course, requires for you to get a lot of maintenance done. And we really want to guard against that. So that is the reasoning behind that engineered plastic on your prop for your thruster. So let's get to it. Let's take this prop off and put the new one on. So we got our T Allen wrench that we're going to basically put right in the side underneath the prop on the zinc anode. And we're just putting that in tight and secure we're not tightening anything there, we're not loosening anything there, we're just keeping it stationary as you see here. Get your rag, your towel, your glove, and you're simply loosening that prop right off. Simple properties apply, just like when you were a kid. Lefty-loosey, righty-tighty. Okay, so we're taking that off completely, just about there. Okay, now we're getting our new prop. Again, this is the two-bladed prop specifically engineered for the three-quarter horsepower machine. And we're just putting it on finger tight, finding those threads, as you can see here. And then we're grabbing that towel and rag again, and we're tightening that all the way down, basically where you no longer can see any threads. So it's important for you to get a good angle too, just as I have here while doing this project, so that you can see underneath. Okay. So notice then, we are finger tight, okay? I didn't torque that down, I didn't grab another tool and try to, you know, forcefully take that prop to another uh, tightening turn. And the reasoning for that ultimately is this. First time you use this product, the rest of the tightening will happen automatically just as that blade then rotates and moves the water. So it's a very simple process to replace the blade on your aqua thruster. But I do want to take you down one more path that we talked about briefly, just to make sure that you know exactly how to go about this if you, in fact, have a bigger machine than the three-quarter horsepower. If you have the one horsepower, again, you're going to need the four-bladed prop. And when using a four-bladed prop, there is a set screw on the top of this prop that you're first going to have to loosen and take off with a flathead screwdriver. So basically, you're going to take that off, you're going to thread it down, and then after you've done the process that we've gone through in this tutorial, then you'll take that set screw and tighten that back up, and you're complete. You're done. That is how you go about changing the prop on your aqua thruster. I'm Scott, coming to you from WeedersDigest.com, your lake and pond experts.